हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स यू वन स्टॉप फॉर लर्निंग ऑल द मैथमेटिक स्मार्ट ट्रिक्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू क्रैक द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स इन द फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट एंड सॉल्व ऑल दोज लेंदी यू नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ क्वान्टिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड विच आर आज इन द एग्जाम फॉर विच यू हैव वेरी लिटिल टाइम सो यू नीड टू बी स्मार्ट एंड स्पेंड लेस टाइम on lengthy questions how do you do that you know i have posted around uh, what 1500 such tricks on this channel and i hope you are watching them and getting benefited so in this video i am going to take up another very important concept how to identify that a four digit number is prime or composite so look at the title of the video r3349 and 277 prime or composite now anybody will struggle in this concept right so i am going to try to simplify it for you but before that let me tell you about the combo that means the ebook of short tricks the quantitative aptitude part and the reasoning course which comes with videos you know if you are aspiring to clear any one of these exams or you know you are looking to calculate 10 times faster then this ebook of short tricks is for you and if you are a school student you know you need to get behind your parents and ask them to get you this amazing combo because this is going to help you a great deal in understanding how the calculated calculations are to be done so friends what's the process through which you can get a copy of this whatsapp this number 9896369963 i'll tell you how to get the combo i tell you 24 chapters of quantitative aptitude 18 chapters of reasoning over 300 short tricks it's going to be an amazing collection okay so let's see the trick in hand now and i will tell you the concept of the trick first for that i'm taking a very small number let's take the number uh which one say 61 or maybe a little bit more higher say 131 okay let's take 131 so i need to find whether 131 is prime or composite so what will i do is i will check which numbers square is just less than 131 so below 131 10 square is uh, 100 11 square is 121 very close to 131 and 12 square is 144 which is above 131 so i don't want to go above 131 okay so 11 is the number i was looking for now below 11 below 11 what are the prime numbers the prime numbers are 2 3 5 7 uh, 9 and 11 okay so only these four numbers so i will check whether my number 131 is divisible by 2 3 5 7 or not it's an odd number right so 2 is not going to divide this 3 plus 4 uh, 1 plus 1 is 5 5 is not divisible by 3 and obviously this number is not divisible by 5 because you don't have a zero or five at the end so not divisible 7 you can just divide uh, 7 uh, ones are 7 so 61 not divisible so all the numbers below 11 the prime numbers they don't divide 131 and therefore this number 131 is a prime number now suppose the number becomes 171 now what will happen 171 is greater than 12 square 144 13 square 169 wow 13 square is the square below 171 so below 13 you have the primes to 3 uh, 7 9 and 11 odd number not divisible by 2 how about 3 1 plus 7 plus 1 is 9 so that means 171 is divisible by 3 and therefore this number 171 is actually a composite number now what happens when the numbers here this number which i am taking becomes bigger and that's what is the trick here see let's check 3349 and uh, the number 277 is it divisible or not is it prime or composite so you need to be really sharp in your squares now okay so 
Let's take three three four nine. This number three three four nine is less than which square? Now that is the challenge which I am going to face. Now fifty square is I I know is two thousand five hundred. So I need to go beyond that, right? And fifty five square is five times six is thirty and twenty five thirty twenty five. So I'm getting near C. Let's take fifty seven square. How do you do fifty seven square? Five square twenty five seven square forty nine seven five zero thirty five double is seventy. So the number is three two four nine. Very very close. So I was looking for this number fifty seven. And obviously, uh, if I do fifty eight square, it will be above three three four nine. So I was looking for this fifty seven. And below fifty seven, you have the primes two three five seven eleven thirteen. Uh, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three, and so on. So I have to write all the primes up to fifty-seven, okay? And I have to check the divisibility. Now watch. What am I going to do? Uh, it's an odd number, so two is not going to divide this. Three plus three, uh, six plus nine, fifteen plus four, nineteen. Three is not going to divide this. Last digit is nine, so five is not going to divide this. Seven uh, fours are twenty-eight, so fifty-four. Seven seven zero forty nine fifty nine not divisible. Eleven three zero thirty three forty nine not divisible. Thirteen uh, two zero twenty six so seventy four. Thirteen uh, five zero sixty five ninety nine not divisible. Let's check seventeen uh, three three four nine divided by seventeen. Seventeen one zero seventeen and uh, then we have one sixty four. Seventeen nine zero one fifty three hundred and nineteen. So seventeen seven zero hundred and nineteen. Oh wow! The number three three four nine is divisible by this prime below fifty seven, and therefore three three four nine is not prime. It is composite. So you need to have little patience, you know, and you need to be very good in your divisibility rules. So if you are good in the divisibility rules, this trick will work. Otherwise, this trick can be used only up to three-digit numbers, which I are you know below which the number of primes which uh, you have to check the divisibility are less. Similarly, now suppose the number is two triple seven. Now two triple seven. I need to check which number square is closest to two triple seven, but less than that. So for that, I all, again start with it, like fifty square. Fifty square is two five zero zero. How about uh, C? I can't go up to fifty-five because three zero two five is bigger, right? So let's do fifty-two square. Now fifty-two square is maybe uh, two uh, five square is twenty-five. Two square is zero four. Five twos are ten. Double twenty, right? So two seven zero four. Oh wow, very very close to this, right? And below it. So that means I have to take fifty-two square here, and the number fifty-two. How do I uh, tackle this number? I have to take all the primes below fifty-two, which are like two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three, and then twenty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-seven, uh, forty-one. Uh, forty-one is also prime, and then forty-three is prime. Forty-five, forty-seven is prime. And then forty nine fifty one. That's it. So I have to check whether this number is divisible by any of these or not. Even if one of these divides two triple seven, then it will not be prime. Okay. So I leave it to you as a DIY. Check whether this number is divisible by. See, single digits are very very easy, and even double digits are easy because you know the tables, right? It is only the divisibility by little big big numbers, you know, which we are to be concerned about. So I leave that to you as a DIV. Tell me whether it is prime or composite, and let me know in the comments here. Okay, so I'll wait for your comments and let me know whether this trick works or not. Okay, friends. So these are some smart things which you can do in the exam, and uh, they are not going to ask you four digit, five digit numbers. They'll only ask you manageable numbers like up to one thousand. That works wonderfully well. Okay, friends. So, if you like this video, do share it with all your friends. 
do not forget to subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon to get all the notifications of these wonderful uploads on Suresh Agarwal's mathematics shortcuts. Thanks for watching this and all the best for the DIY question.